Okay, in this video, I'll show you the easy way to convert a MySQL database to SQL Server. And to do this, we're going to use a tool called the SQL Server Migration Assistant for MySQL. It's quite a long name. Uh, this is what you need to search for. And it's a Microsoft product. It's also free, by the way, so you can find it here. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below. So if you want it, click on the link below. Okay, so we get that. And system requirements, I guess it's okay. Let's say which SQL Server. Um, you need, you might need the MySQL connector for ODBC, so you can also search for that if you don't have it. Um, that's a download from Oracle, and obviously you need plenty of RAM for doing this. Okay, let's download this tool and have a little look, see what it does. Okay, so this is the front end of the Migration Assistant, assuming you've installed it correctly. And the first thing you need to do is you need to connect to both databases. Uh, before that, you need to go File and then New Project. And then you need to connect to MySQL and you need to connect to SQL Server. Uh, I've personally found when you're doing this is maybe better to do it both on the same server to start with. Um, you can have network issues otherwise, especially if your database is quite big. So once you're connected, you will see your MySQL in your database. You'll find a list of what's in there. Uh, I guess most people will just have tables. So we click on here at the top and you'll see this is the create table statement for the MySQL database. And what you need to do um, before you get to uh, convert the data, obviously you need to make your SQL Server database. Um, I've called it the same name. Here I'm doing one called Find a Store. So I already made it uh, in SQL Server Management Studio. You don't really need to add anything to the database once you create it. This tool will do everything. So once your SQL Server database is created, you right click on the table and convert schema here. This will convert your table into the equivalent SQL Server table here. Okay, and so you can go through and do all that. Um, actually then found a script. You can actually, um, if you right click here and save as script, because this just, uh, this doesn't actually create the tables in the database. It just shows you the schema, which is here. So if you right click here, and save it as a script. Then you can run this script in your database, the SQL Server database that is, and then you can view all the tables. Let's have a quick look and see what it's looking like in SQL Server. Okay, I will mention that this tool is quite confusing. Uh, it took me a few goes to figure out how to do it properly. Um, but as you see, once you save the SQL query for making all your tables, you can just run it, execute it in SQL Server. Then it will create all of the tables. Um, once you've created them all, it's a good idea to just go into design and make sure everything is okay. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that bit fields uh, kind of boolean if you have yes no fields in mysql it changes them to a small int whereas i prefer to use them as bits so you can just click on here and save the table should save the table once we've done that and everything will be okay uh, let's look at my main table this has uh, open this one in design view uh, the other thing is to make sure that it's put the primary key in. So scroll down here, make sure that identity is on. 
and the next uh because i've got 4500 records so that would be the next one so this one looks okay um just because there's a key here might not necessarily made it properly again it's a good idea to scroll through all of the properties as you see these are small ints whereas i prefer them to be bits so i'll go through later and change all those okay so that's the actual uh table uh also note obviously sql server now uses schemas so you have the schema name there uh you can change that if you want to that's in the migration tool so now we appear to have our tables uh, set up properly let's go and import the data into sql server so once you're happy with your table design you can right click on here and migrate data so you'll need to put in your password again for the mysql it's really annoying because you have to do it for each table it should uh, work quite quickly and export the data from mysql and go into here uh, you can check then if you click on the data thing you can see that the data looks okay it has come across okay so that's basically how you can do it i said um, i have problems with my particular hosting company that i couldn't actually get this tool to work with it so basically i've exported from my local mysql database into a local sql server database uh, then what I can do is just use the standard SQL Server export functions within the Management Studio itself to export from my local database into the actual production database. Uh, if you have any more problems, there's all kinds of things you can do here. Uh, you can change the type mapping if you need to. Uh, hopefully your MySQL database won't be too complex. Um, and that's about it. There are all types of different methods of exporting data from MySQL, but I found uh, exporting the text quite, um, exporting from MySQL Workbench didn't seem to work very well. And I tried all kinds of different methods, but uh, definitely give this tool a go because it's free quite quick and it is a very confusing user interface but it is very powerful and quite quick uh, if you have any problems with it uh, drop me a comment in the comments section below and i'll have a look see if i can help you out thanks for watching